Hello, I'm Katie Lohman from Senior Flexonics Pathway, and I'd like to welcome you to this webinar. Today's topic is the testing done on St. Gamay's Darlin 1100 expansion joint belts, which were in service for 18 years at a 1300 megawatt coal fire power plant. I would like to now introduce you to Rich Hellman. Rich is a product manager for St. Gobain. He will be joined by Paige and they'll tell you about the testing process on this material. Thanks, Katie. I appreciate the invite to participate in today's webinar. As you mentioned, Senior Flexonics presented us the opportunity to analyze the physical properties of expansion joint material that was pulled from service after 18 years in a power plant application. So we jumped at the chance for this learning opportunity. The first step, was to visually examine the material for any evidence of physical damage or degradation. There was none. The material was then submitted to our physical properties testing lab where we tested for tensile strength, tear strength, as well as tensile strength after flex fold testing. Rich, can you tell us a little about how the samples were selected and prepared for testing? Sure. For this study, the three samples were cut out along the center line of the material. This method is preferred because it targets the working area of the material that should have been exposed to the highest flexural stress in the application. It is where deterioration in physical properties should be most apparent. Rich, I am sure our viewers are anxious to learn the results of the testing. Can you share the actual results? Absolutely. The tensile strength of the material after 18 years of service was 83% of the original tensile strength of the product as manufactured. Put another way, the product retained a tensile strength 25% greater than the tensile strength required by the FSA specifications. The trapezoidal tear strength was 72% of the strength as produced, which represents nearly four times the trapezoidal tear strength performance level that is required. Can you demonstrate how this test is performed? Yes. The first step is to prepare the sample by notching the fabric. This helps to produce stress along a defined course for tear propagation. The tear strength of a woven fabric is determined primarily by the properties of the yarns that are used to weave the fabric. However, in the case of our product, the tear strength is also a function of the coating that is applied to encapsulate the individual yarns. This coating reduces the potential for the individual glass yarns to abrade against each other. This is a standard ASTM test procedure, which is performed on all of our products and used to ensure the highest level of quality is consistently maintained. Lastly, the retained tensile strength after flex fold testing was virtually unchanged from the retained strength that is typical for the Darwin material as originally produced. In summary page, this 18 years of service Darlin retained 83% of its original tensile strength, 72% of its original trapezoidal tear strength, and all of its retained tensile strength after flex fold testing. Finally, all physical properties of the Darlin material exceeded those of the fluid sealing associations typical required values for these properties. Those are some really impressive results, especially considering the harsh environment. So what do you attribute this level of performance to? Good question. The in-use performance of Darlin is made possible by a material structure that is based on a proprietary woven glass fabric, along with a proprietary fluoropolymer composite structure. These material attributes, combined with a world-class manufacturing process, are designed to get the most out of these materials. Rich, can you share some additional insight about the structure of these products? Okay, so let's take a look at our process. First, the structure starts with a woven fiberglass fabric that is produced in-house. St. Cobain not only weaves the fabric, but we also twist and ply the individual yarns that go into the weaving process. The yarn type, the number of twists, and the yarn count all impact strength and strength retention. All of these variables were taken into account when designing the woven fiberglass reinforcement. Second, the selection of fluoropolymers in the structure was not only intended to create the chemical barrier between the flue gas and the environment, it was selected based on its contribution to both the inherent mechanical strength and the retained strength in service. I hope this answers your questions 
and provide some insight that is helpful for the viewers. This was some really interesting information, and I think it's a great testament to the quality of Darlin. I'm sure all of those in attendance found the information informative and useful in their thinking about their specific project requirements. Back to you, Katie. Rich, we would like to thank you for your time you took today to participate in the webinar. One of Senior Flexonics Pathway's cornerstones is the reliability of service, and I think that St. Gobain's findings underline that commitment. If you'd like more detailed information, there's a white paper on our website, which we'll also link to. If you have questions about your next project or turnaround, you can contact us by phone or by using the Ask the Expert feature on our website. Thank you for joining us.